this is what uh, part 2 of the problem of degeneracy in linear programming problem this is part 2 in the at the end of the part 1 we are uh, we are here uh, we have entered the simplex table 2 you see here this is what the uh, problem we got and 1 and 5 are the two particular elements uh, the tie occurs uh, and which is here which you can observe here 2 and 2 the two particular uh, minimum elements are same minimum ratios are same so therefore uh, it is a problem of degeneracy and we have formulated degeneracy table and then uh, after resolving degeneracy degeneracy was resolved and we got the minimum ratio it is 0 we got the minimum ratio it is 0 and then degeneracy problem is resolved and then we come back again um, for simplex table 1 and in which uh, I have, we have identified uh, the element 5 corresponding y4, y4 leaves uh, and we have entered there. So therefore we, have, uh, we are entering to the simplex table 2. In the simplex table 2 what we are doing? We have to convert uh, the pivotal element 5 to unity 1 that is in R2 and uh, um, we have to convert 1 and 3. In R1 and R3 the three two particular elements are to be converted as zeros. That is exactly where we are. We are. So the first entered row is R2 dash. What is the operation? I am writing the operation for R2 dash. R2 dash is R2 divided by 5. That is what the uh, first operation is going to be uh, calculated. Right? It is going to be considered. So therefore the uh, elements here, uh, elements over here uh, it, which are going to be considered here. This is 10 divided by 5 it is 2 and then 5 by 5 it is 1 and uh, it is uh, it is 1 again, uh, 2 by 5, it is not 1, it is 2 by 5, it is 2 by 5 and the next element uh, for y3 it is 0, it is 1 by 5, it is 0. Just I have noted down, please calculate the values. And then the operation for R1 dash, the R1 dash operations are, it is uh, going to be considered uh, R1 dash, which element is going to convert to 0, it is 1. Therefore it is plus r1 and multiplied by r2 dash r2 dash multiplied by 1 is the element therefore you have to multiply with minus 1 and r3 dash r3 dash it is going to be considered as it is plus r3 and uh, what you have to write that element 3 is going to be converted as 0 so therefore you have to multiply with minus 3 to r2 dash first entered row is r2 dash so you have to multiply minus 1 with r2 dash here minus 3 with r2 dash here because 1 and 3 are the elements are going to be converted as zeros 1 in r1 3 in r3 therefore it is minus 1 into r2 dash plus r1 minus 3 into r2 dash plus r3 so do the row operations and uh, these are the elements uh, we obtain here so for r1 dash it is 0 and again 0 and it is 3 by 5 and is 1 uh, and minus 1 by 5 and 0. For R3 dash the elements here we get 6, 0, we obtain 34 by 5 and do with calculator it is 0, minus 3, uh, do with, uh, do the calculations not with calculator it is easy to calculate uh, with uh, just uh, by manual you can calculate it. So these are the elements here R1 dash R3 dash. So now you have to calculate the net evaluations z. z is equal to 0 into 0, 5 into 2, c b x b, 10, 10, g plus 0, 10. So this is what 10. So in the simplex table 2, we got z is equal to 10. z j minus c j, c b y j, c b y 1 minus c j. 0 into 0, 5 into 1 plus 0 into 0, 5 minus 5 to 0. 0 into 0 into 3 by 5, 5 into 2 by 5, 0 into 34 by 5. So 5 into 2 by 5. It is uh, 2, 2 minus 3, it is minus 1, 2 minus 3, it is minus 1, it is 0, mm, it is the first one 0, 5 into 1 by 5, 1, it is 0, minus 1, minus 0, it is 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 0, it is 0. So only one negative that is minus 1, so arrow, indicate arrow mark, corresponding vector is y2, therefore y2 enters, therefore y2 enters, therefore y2 enters enters the basis now what we are to do next you, you observe the values here 3 by 5 2 by 5 34 by 5 so all are greater than 0 positive so therefore you have to calculate minimum ratio what is the minimum ratio minimum of xbi by 
yir where yir greater than 0 it is equivalent to be minimum of xbi what is xbi 0 0 by 3 by 5 2 by 2 by 5 6 by 34 by 5 0 by 3 by 5 and 2 by 2 by 5 and 6 by 34 by 5 any need to calculate minimum ratio directly we can calculate what is that 0 because 0 by element many number of students think that 0 should not be considered no that kind of rule is not given yir should be greater than 0 kinda nunde elements lo 0 undakodu 3 by 5 2 by 5 34 by 5 yir kinda nunde elements lo yir lo 0 undakodu but xbi lo 0 undachu so xbi lo 0 unte ade minimum Obviously, 0 is the minimum element. Positive, any positive kata mano. XBI positive, YIR greater than 0. So, all the elements are positive. Any positive was the positive law, 0 unte, minimum, 0. So, directly and can 0 consideration. Corresponding element and 3 by 5. The corresponding element is 3 by 5. So, therefore, corresponding 3 by 5, 3, first of all, you identify the element. 3 by 5, put the star mark. Uh, so, corresponding 3 by 5, there is y3. So, therefore, I put the arrow mark here. Therefore, y3 and y3 leaves. Therefore, y3 leaves from the basis and 3 by 5, 3 by 5 is pivotal element, is pivotal element. This is what the calculations from one table to another table. You see all the calculations here, row operations, do the row operations, some place is required. Do the row operations here, y2 enters. And uh, mm, after calculating uh, net evaluations, y2 enters, minimum ratio, minimum ratio is 0, corresponding to 3 by 5, therefore 3 by 5 corresponding to vector is y3, therefore y3 leaves and 3 by 5 is the pivotal element. And uh, next, go to the next table. So what we have to do in the next table, it is you see y3 3 by 5. You have to convert as unity and remaining two elements 2 by 5, 34 by 5, we have to convert as zeros. Right? And uh, what are the change? What is the change? Y3 leaves and Y2 enters. So therefore, Y3 leaves, Y2 enters. So the, what is the first particular uh, uh, change in the simplex table 3? Go to simplex table 3 in which uh, Y3 leaves and uh, uh, Y2 enters. Therefore, here it is Y2 and then Y1 as it is and then uh, Y5, Y5 as it is. Okay? And the cost, I am writing the cost here, 5300, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0. So, I, I have to write uh, remaining vectors y3, y4, y5. So, I have entered up to y2 and then I have added 3. Right. So, now y2, y1, y5. y1, y2 cost, y5, y2 cost is 3, y1 cost is 5, y5 cost is 0. Now, you have to calculate operations, r1 double dash r2 double dash r3 double dash these are the three operations you have to do so for first one the pivotal element is in the first row r1 dash therefore you have to calculate r1 double dash so what is the operation for r1 double dash you see here r1 double dash is r1 dash divided by the element is 3 by 5 3 by 5 so therefore divided by 3 by 5 r is equivalent to be 5 by 3 into r1 dash That's either this operation or this operation whatever you you can do it so while doing the operations what you will get so 5 by 3 into 0 0 first one 0 this is 0 3 by 5 next uh, element here it is 1 next element uh, 5 by 3 it is minus 1 by 3 it is 0 so these are the elements uh, I have noted down and now you see you have to uh, do the operations for r2 double dash and r3 double dash so i write here r3 double dash r2 double dash uh, the operation means which plus r2 dash remember it must be identified first very clearly r3 double dash is plus r3 dash what you have to do multiply r1 double dash entered first that is r1 double dash r1 double dash 
multiplied by you see here in r2 dash 2 by 5 is to be converted as 0 this is to be converted as 0 so multiply with minus 2 by 5 and in r3 double dash that is uh, uh, you have to multiply r1 double dash with uh, 34 by 5 in r3 dash 34 by 5 it is to be converted as 0 so therefore you have to multiply with minus 34 by 5 don't think that difficult calculations which are very simple okay two three two three elements are not not even to calculate need not to calculate we will get the answer directly right these are the uh, operations uh, we have to calculate so after getting the operations after calculating the operations these are the values uh, uh, kindly calculate and uh, i'm noting down the values here uh, r2 double dash that is minus 2 by 5 into r1 double dash plus r2 dash so um, for which uh, the elements here 2 1 it is 0 it is minus 2 by 3 it is 1 by 3 and it is 0 you got so you see minus 2 by 3 1 by 3 and 2 these are the values you got next r3 double dash is r3 double dash is minus 34 by 5 into r1 double dash plus r3 dash so in which we got the elements here 6 uh, 0 0 and uh, minus 34 by 3 and uh, 5 by 3 and the last one 1 so these are the elements uh, we have obtained for r3 double dash so now we have to calculate again z calculate again z z is equal to now 3 into 0 plus 5 into 2 it is 10 this time judge a minus c is a what are the values of judge a minus c is a c b y z minus c is a it is nothing but 3 into 0 5 into 1 plus 0 into 0 this 5 minus 5 to 0 similarly for 3 into 3 3 into 1 3 minus plus 0 plus 0 hence it minus 3 and it is 0 next uh, 3 into 5 by 3 minus uh, 5 into 2 by 3 so i am doing here the calculation 3 into um, 5 by 3 plus 5 into minus 2 by 3 so because 3 you need not to cancel 3 5 3 are 15 minus uh, minus 0 okay and net value 3 into 5 15 15 minus 5 into 2 10 15 minus 10 5 by 3 this is 5 by 3 this is what 5 by 3 so this is what uh, you see again i am explaining 3 into 5 by 3 plus 5 into minus 2 by 3 3 fives are 15 5 2 5, 5, 5 2s are 10 15 minus 10 5 5 by 3 next one 0 remember next one 0 minus 0 so finish 3 into minus 1 by 3 leave it 5 into 1 by 3 5 by 3 plus 0 plus 0 and 5 by 3 minus 3 by 3 it is 2 by 3 minus 0 2 by 3 did this much simple it is don't think otherwise it is very very simple first 0 0 plus 1 into 0 0 into 1 0 minus 0 it is 0 so you see here all net evaluations are positive 0 0 5 by 3 2 by 3 0 so all z j minus c j are greater than equal 0 since since all z j minus c j are greater than equal to 0 the current solution is optimum solution current solution is optimum optimum solution therefore the optimum basic feasible solution optimum basic feasible solution feasible solution which is nothing but uh, it is uh, maximize z is equal to it is 10 and uh, at uh, x1 is equal to uh, x1 is equal to you see here come back x1 is equal to 2 y1 corresponding uh, xb value and y2 corresponding xb value it is x2 0 x1 2 at x1 is equal to 2 and x2 is equal to 0 this is what the solution optimum basic feasible solution x1 is equal to 2 x2 is equal to 0 this is what uh, uh, optimum basic feasible solution not given linear programming problem this is the method how to resolve the degeneracy in a linear programming problem hope you understand thank you